The blocking queue interface describes a queue we can use when implementing the consumer producer design pattern. This design pattern co comes to solve the common problem having when dealing with two threads that try to pass over elements from one thread to the other through a queue the two threads share. Our code sample includes an object instantiated from the linked blocking queue class. Passing the value 6 means the new created queue has 6 places to old elements, meaning that if the producer thread which has this run method, a method that tries to put elements on the queue, if this thread reach the end of the queue, meaning the queue is uh, doesn't have any available place, the put method will simply wait till an available place will be created. That happens when the other thread, the consumer thread, continuously try to take elements from the queue. Take method tries to take the first element from the queue. Uh, if that element is available, it returns it. If that element is not available, the take method simply blocks and waits till an element is available. Similarly to the put method that also waits when the queue is full. Looking at the main method, we can see a delay of 10 seconds. This delay caused the producer thread to add elements and causing the queue to be full, meaning that after the six elements are added, the first six elements are added, the queue is full and the producer thread, w which tries to call the put method, simply blocks and wait till the consumer will start working. The consumer in this sample start to work after the delay of 10 seconds end. Then, when the program continue, we shall see that the consumer has a smaller delay between each call to the take method, meaning that when the producer has a 1,000th of milliseconds delay, the consumer takes those elements much faster, which eventually cause the queue to be empty. Meaning that at some point, this call to the take method shall block the thread, and we shall have a waiting. We shall have that thread wait till uh, a new element is added to the queue. Let's execute the program. If we look at the console, we can see that in the beginning we have the producer thread putting element on the queue. And when the queue is full, it stops waiting for the consumer to start taking elements. At this stage, we can see the consumer thread working much faster, meaning that eventually the queue becomes empty, and at that point, the consumer that tries to take an element simply waits each time the queue is empty wait for the producer to put a new element